good old days of supermarket shopping. When nothing stood between you and your next meal. Nothing. But today, there are materials that help lock out harmful contaminants and reduce spoilage, keeping us safe and the food we eat fresh. Plastics make it possible. So now, the rest is history. Are these still the good old days? This? This is me in the supermarket. Just like anybody in here, I get my groceries, my necessities for my entire week. From avocados to crisps and from dog food to shaving cream. From chocolate to bread. But what I and most of the people here don't realize is that we're not only getting what we want and will use, but almost half of what's in my shopping cart is useless plastic paper or cardboard. Everything is wrapped in some kind of material, even the shampoo. Some? Some of it will be recycled, but only some. I always thought it was most of it, but that's not true. It depends on the recycling company near you, your country, the material that you want to recycle, and your laws, like this one, that prohibits the use of plastic bags. But mainly, mainly it depends on you, or on me. Wouldn't it be better to not have all of this unnecessary material at all? Because I'm not buying the packaging for me, I'm just paying for it and then letting it go who knows where. It might end up in the Pacific Ocean and Rapa Nui or, or to a landfill next to my city Santiago de Chile. Or, or even to an illegal landfill, like this one. I'm here now in one of the biggest illegal landfills near Santiago de Chile and it's quite incredible how many trucks have been passing by throwing their debris away, how many cars have been passing by throwing their trash right through their windows. And the most impactful thing is that we're right next to the Maipo River, which is one of the main rivers near Santiago that flows right into the sea. You can't imagine how much trash there is in such big amount of space. From sofas to plastic bottles to phones, plenty of shoes. How much do you really care about the earth? Do you really care as much as you say you do, or do you care as much as you say you act? National Geographic did a survey with 17 countries, being one of the questions how concerned they were about the environment, and a total of 55% of the interviewers said they were very concerned. Then, then they asked them if they felt guilty about their impact to the world, and strangely, now only 31% of the people felt guilty of their impact. Well, I wanted to try this with my friends and I asked them two questions. Ya. Yeah. Eh, la primera pregunta es si te importa el medio ambiente. Sí, importa mucho. Sí. Eh, sí mucho. Sí. 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 Sí, 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 sí importa. Sí me importa. Y mucho. ¿Y qué haces a diario a favor del medio ambiente? Most of them are living a truthful life, to feel better themselves, 
but what they don't know is that that truth is the worst lie. At the end I ask them again, how much they really care about the earth from what they say they do for it. And the answer was completely different. ¿Sientes que tus actos son suficientes para decir que te importa el medio ambiente? Ben Knepers is one of the founders of Burio, a mainly skateboard company that produces them with the plastic of fishing nets found in the ocean. That means he recycles plenty of plastic found in the ocean to build a product that will be enjoyed later. The, the theme that we really connected on being um, these engineer backgrounds with these unique skill sets that we developed um, and passion for the ocean environment was this growing problem we were seeing more and more of, of, of ocean plastic pollution. So we took a really academic approach to understand um, what was causing this problem, um, how severe it is, and, and what can be done about it. And the big thing that we were surprised was as much as we were seeing in the news and the media the doom and gloom and the growing numbers, um, there was actually a lot of really tangible things that can be done. But what have we done for the environment? And we tell everybody we care about it when we see plastics around necks of animals. But when I see plastics on the streets, I don't even pick them up. How many times have you walked past the plastic laying on the street and not picked it up? Next time just count them. I'm not forcing you to pick them up, just making you realize how much you or, or even I care about the planet. Do one exercise and think, how many snacks do you eat in a week? And multiply this by 48. Napkins. How many paper napkins or paper towels do you use in a month? And multiply this by 12. Or, or how many coffees to go do you drink in a day? And multiply this by 365. And that amount of plastic cups is only one person, in this case, me. And we are 7.7 .7 billion in the world. That would be, well, a huge number. And that's only if one third of the world would drink coffees to go. Small steps can make big changes. Look, this is me with my fruits and vegetables bought in the supermarket. I look quite comfortable, everything under control. But what if we take the unnecessary plastic away? That? That would look like this. I'm quite uncomfortable this time and it's not easy at all to manage all of the fruits in my arms without even one falling to the ground. Look, there goes one. But that's when I thought about it. How can I bear using these plastics to carry things and not bear looking at this? It's only a few seconds of difficult carry. But the animals? The animals have to carry our trash their entire life. And they, they don't have a choice at all. I know it's difficult. Yes, maybe very difficult. But sometimes difficult is very worth it. The choice, the choice is ours. Do you really care about the planet? If you don't, just don't say you do. But if you really care, start by getting a bit more uncomfortable. By being more thirsty and buying less plastic bottles being tired and buying less coffees to go, ordering less deliveries. Maybe just shut this video off and pick that plastic bag from the street. Or, or just leave it there.